Hey guys, so today's video is a little different than normal. Um, so I was recently contacted by um, High Smile, which is, I mean, I'm sure you guys all know that like teeth whitening company that has like that blue light and everything. And they're like, all the celebrities use it. Kylie Jenner claims she uses it. We'll get to that later. Um, and I was a little thrown off by their requests that they, um, that they like gave me. So basically they didn't offer me any payment. They just said, we like oh we'd love for you to review our product um and then they were gonna send me like a free like like the package was originally seventy dollars maybe seventy nine um around that and they were going to send it to me for free in exchange for a review but it was not ex in exchange for an honest review they had all these guidelines that i had to follow and they were just like very specific about what i can and can't say and I was just like getting a little like suspicious with that like they always have good reviews I never hear anyone really being critical of them so um I many of you may not know but I'm actually um applying to dental school and I'll be going to dental school next year so I do have um a big interest in teeth you know and oral health in general and I also have shadowed shadowed several dentists and I like you know I, I know some things about this topic I'm not a dental school student yet but I'm able to do the research and you know see if a product is going to be effective or not and I have dentists you know that I'm that I see every week that I can ask about this stuff so I asked um, the high smile people if I, you know, if it'd be okay if I compared the active ingredient in their product to the active ingredient in other products, and they basically straight up said no. Um, they didn't say no, but they said, unfortunately, you know, we have strict guidelines to, and they, they say that the guidelines are for, you know, making sure I have enough to say in the video, but I was offering things to say, and they said basically that I couldn't say it, and I wasn't going to, you know, I was, I was going to give them a, like, a decent review if I liked the product, but um, I elected to not get the product because I wasn't okay with some of the things that they're asking me to do. So I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about what I've learned about the company since doing my research. Um, just a little disclaimer: I am not saying High, High Smile doesn't work. I'm actually making a point to say that the product does work, just maybe not as well as other whitening products, and that some parts of the High Smile product are kind of BS. So I did a lot of research for this video and I have sources below with links to scientific articles and everything for basically everything, um, like every fact that I am mentioning. So if you think I miss, if, if you think I'm mistaken on anything, please, you know, go visit the links below before, you know, you make any comments or claims, but I'd be happy, I'd totally open to if you think that I did some research incorrectly and I'd be happy to look at what you say. So first of all, they have kind of like sketchy marketing tactics, like the fact that like, like I mentioned before, um, with them, like not allowing me to say like my com complete honest review. And also another thing that they make you do before you um, can submit your, before you can upload your review to YouTube, they require you to send them your review so they can approve it first. So. I, you know, my guess with this is that if you're not saying all, you know, great things, this is the best product I've ever used, they're probably going to say don't upload the video, which is kind of skewed because like, I know, like, even if the product is amazing, I haven't tried it, so I don't know if it's amazing, but my guess is that it's just okay. Um, you still like, you know, it's kind of good to have some bad reviews just so people can like, you know, point out some things that you can do better. Like this company is clearly not interested in improving if they're only interested in seeing positive reviews. Also, the CEO of the company even said that um, the, the majority of their reviews are honest, which is clearly implying that uh, like some of them aren't. So, you know, I don't know how I feel about that, but you can, you know, form your own opinions. Also, false advertising. Can we just say that Kylie Jenner clearly does not use this product like I just don't understand how like I don't know why you would target her because first of all Kylie Jenner has veneers which if you don't know what veneers are they're basically you know fake teeth that are applied to like that are permanently glued to your own teeth and I'll insert this picture that's just clearly like I I, think, I believe she's admitted having veneers and also you can't go from you know her before picture to the after picture where her teeth are completely differently, like differently shaped and everything. Also, it's just so easy to identify veneers these days. Like she clearly has veneers. And on the High Smile website, they even say that these, this product does not work for veneers. So like, why would you target someone who has veneers to advertise for your product when they clearly don't use it? And I feel like that's also sending the wrong message. If you know Kylie Jenner has veneers, 
and you like want to use this product and you have veneers like you'd have to go to their website and see that it actually says that you don't use it on veneers so i just feel like it's misleading also just a general note if you before you try any tooth whitening product you probably should ask your dentist because if you have any um like a composite or any fake tooth on any of your teeth from a filling it's not going to whiten the same as your actual tooth so you do want to make sure that it's safe for you to use um and also if you have any like gum problems it could be really irritating so definitely ask your dentist first don't use high smile if you have veneers like kylie jenner i'm sorry guys i'm just really affected by this so high smile also uses a less active um a less powerful active ingredient than most at home whitening products so most at home whitening products like crest white strips for example which have been shown to be very effective and are approved by the ada they use carbamide peroxide which when it is um in your mouth it turns into hydrogen peroxide which has an oxidation reaction that lifts the stains off your teeth so this is actually um very safe for your enamel because it's not causing any um harm to your enamel it's not you know scratching it in any way it's not breaking it down so white strips like like this are completely safe to use i spoke to the dentist i shadow who is licensed and she recommends these white strips to her patients she you know gives them to them she has given them to me she uses them herself so you know if, if dentists are using these white strips they're probably pretty safe and effective so yeah carbamide peroxide is proven to whiten your teeth the only thing is they do have a few side effects your enamel or your teeth in general can be kind of sensitive for a few days after using them, but that, is, that sensitivity should not be permanent. Um, and they also, because the um, peroxide can be kind of strong, it can um, hurt your gums. But again, it doesn't cause any harm to your enamel or there's no statistically significant harm done to enamel. I have a research article cited below that that found that. On the other hand, High Smile uses sodium bicarbonate, which is also known as baking soda. And what baking soda does for your teeth or, or sodium bicarbonate is basically it acts as like a mild abrasive to kind of scrub away some of the surface stains. So first of all, it's not as effective as carbamide peroxide or hydrogen peroxide. And it also is just getting away the surface stains. It's not gonna get, get rid of the deep stains. So it might not work for your teeth if you have deep stains, but if you have surface stains, you know, this product will probably help you a little bit because that's just the nature of it. And it has been proven to help with, with some mild staining. So comparing their efficacy, carbamide peroxides are more effective at removing deeper stains and um, just more like more stubborn stains than sodium bicarbonate. Also a side note, High Smile also contains sodium chloride as a list of their whitening ingredients, but I'm not really going to talk about this too much because sodium chloride is not listed on the ADA's list of whitening ingredients, and I was not able to find any research studies that have ever used sodium chloride as a whitening ingredient. I've seen it used in teeth, but or in dentistry in general, but it's never used as a whitening ingredient. Also, High Smile can damage your teeth. So as I listed above, since um, sodium bicarbonate baking soda, which is the main ingredient in High Smile, is an abrasive agent, if used over time, it, it can cause harm to your enamel. The only thing is you might not experience any uh, gum sensitivity or tooth sensitivity, which is why they say it's good for sensitive teeth, which is true. But if you're using it for long periods of time, it can cause damage to your enamel, which is arguably worse. So again, talk to your like i'm not saying don't use high smile i i think that it could be safe for you know the recommended time they use but if you keep using it consistently like every few months or whatever until your teeth are the white the whiteness that you want them to be it could eventually cause some harm there is also reason to believe that the lights that they use in high smile or in general led or uv lights can cause damage to the pulpal tissue which is like the inside of your tooth that you would have to that's like the part that you get removed if you have a root canal but i'm going to get into that a little more later high smile also tries to sell on something that has no effect so you can clearly see on their instagram their main selling point is this like, you know, LED light that is supposed to like activate, it literally says on the website, it activates the whitening ingredients. And the more I looked into this, the more I was just like, this literally has no effect. I even contacted one of the dentists and was like, should an LED light have any effect on sodium bicarbonate? And she's like, mm. she's like, no. So I've done extensive research and I found no evidence that LED lights activate sodium bicarbonate at all which is what this says it does on their website. UV lights are used in dental practices to um, activate, or it's they're claimed to activate the whitening ingredients in, um, dental, in like dental procedure whitening, which is only really um, shown to have an effect for the carbamide peroxide or hydrogen peroxide. So first of all, 
these are UV lights, which are, you know, plugged into a power source, source, which are much more strong than anything that like you can fit in a small little battery pack in the high smile kit. And also this is only for um, carbamide peroxide and not for uh, sodium bicarbonate. So I don't really know where they got this idea for the LED light because it's kind of BS. There is a study from the Open Dentistry Journal that showed the light, the UV light can act as a catalyst for carbamide peroxide to be converted at a higher rate into hydrogen peroxide. They did find that it did improve teeth whitening, but one thing to note is that they didn't have a control group that didn't have the light. So this could be just saying that carbamide peroxide whitens your teeth. And this is also, again, not for sodium bicarbonate. So there are no studies that show that the LED light has anything, or LED or your UV, anything, has anything to do with um, sodium bicarbonate. So again, you're just putting a light in your mouth for no reason, and that light could actually damage your teeth more than you know, doing anything else. You can even search in PubMed or Google Scholar, Google anything yourself, and you're, I, try, I promise, you're not gonna find anything that talks about LED lights and sodium bicarbonate in the same paper because there's just no reason to, to, like, to believe that it should work because the light, the purpose of the light in, um, in carbamide peroxide is to convert it to hydrogen peroxide, but you're not converting sodium bicarbonate into anything. So basically you could be causing your teeth unnecessary damage just because it looks cool on Instagram. So basically with High Smile, you're paying $70 for some baking soda and a cheap little toy light you could probably find in a little kid's bouncy ball. A few more things to note is that the CEOs were both 21 and 22 when they started High Smile and they do not have any relation to dentistry. They just saw, you know, a gap in the market for tooth whitening, which I don't really think there was a gap in the in the market because the white strips work great. So I don't I don't know, um, but I don't really understand what they have to do, you know, trying to recommend items for or product for people's teeth if they have no relation to dentistry at all. And also, like I mentioned before, Crest white strips are the only whitening product that have the ADA seal of acceptance. So, and cl High Smile clearly does not. They say on their website that they do, you know, they follow all the FDA regulations, but it's not hard to do that. To, in order to be approved by the FDA, all you have to do is basically like not be toxic and you don't have to live up to any of the claims that you're making. So even, this even goes for vitamins. Vitamins can say they improve cognitive health, whatever. They don't actually need to be proven to have th to do that in order for it to be on the label. So don't believe everything you read. So overall, again, I'm not saying High Smile doesn't work. There is evidence to back up that sodium bicarbonate do, uh, can whiten your teeth and has shown it in studies before, but there's also evidence to show that it's less effective than peroxide. The light, on, on the other hand, is a total gimmick. There's no research to back that up, which I just keep asking myself, why would you put a light in something that, that like doesn't need it and cause unnecessary damage? And even if the light did have an effect, if High Smile, let's say, was using peroxide as an active ingredient, the light in the little high smile apparatus would not even be strong enough to activate it as the, the lights in dental offices are, you know, really have like really strong uh, UV lights, which is different than LED. And like you can feel the heat when they're working on you. Like it's not the same as like the little like, you know, gimmicky toy. If you really want to whiten your teeth, go get some white strips. Many dentists have recommended them to me, got them for me, give them out to their patients, use it themselves. And they are approved by, by the ADA. And just a little comparison here, you can get a pack of 22 white strips or 22 uses of white strips, 44 total, for $44 on Amazon. Or you could get High Smile, which is a kit for the cheapest kit you can get, $60 for six uses. Or you can get some baking soda, which is the same ingredient as High Smile, except you can get it at any grocery store for, I don't know the exact prices, but it's gotta be less than $5. So take your pick. I say go with the white strips if you're really trying to whiten your teeth with no real, um, no statistically significant damage to your enamel, maybe a little irritation, but you know, if you're trying to get white teeth, what's a little irritation? So I hope you guys found this video informative. Um, if you are looking into High Smile, I hope that you take these things into account and realize that they do use, you know, strong marketing tactics that are trying to, you know, deceive you and I don't know kind of some, some sketchy practices. Again, not saying it doesn't work. I actually think, I actually, you know, research says it does work, but it's just going to be a little more harmful to your teeth and a little less effective for whitening your teeth. So if you're trying to get white teeth fast, don't go for this. Yeah, basically that's all I have to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this is a little different than the videos I usually do. Um, so sorry if you didn't like watching all of my, you know, passionate teeth rants, but 
you know, that's who, that's who I am. So thank you guys for watching. And if you made it all the way here, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me. Um, and if you like to like hear me, you know, kind of like debunk certain products on their like basis of science, I am a science major and I love looking into like um, scientific research and all that. So let me know and I can debunk some more things for you. But this just kind of came to me because they contacted me and it was all sketchy. We talked about it. It's fine. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.